Hey everyone, Andy with Andy's Auto Care Plus. Welcome to the channel. Hey, if you're new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's YouTube, you know how it works, so I'd appreciate it if you guys would do that. Cool. Um, hit that little bell notification if, if you want. Give me a thumbs up, all, the, all that good stuff. So today, as the title states, we're gonna be changing the battery in my Tesla, which is crazy, right? The car doesn't even, have, well, okay, so I got a battery light that showed up saying that I needed to replace my 12 volt battery at 5,000 miles. It was right around that 5,000 mile mark. Now we have 6,000 miles on it. Um, I went ahead and ordered this lithium ion battery. I didn't know much about this, so I did some research. Um, seems like a great idea. It's lighter, it's more efficient, it's supposed to last longer. Um, so all these are good, positive things, right? Um, especially for an electric car, you want it as light as possible. And we're gonna shave off like three, four pounds, maybe even five pounds, I don't know, it's pretty heavy. This is our factory battery, okay? This sucker's heavy. Actually, later on in this video, I'm gonna show you an example of my daughter picking up this versus the lithium ion battery, and it's pretty crazy. Um, so we're gonna go straight into the install. It's pretty easy, don't overthink it. If you're at home wanting to do this yourself, it's not as hard as you might think. Just be careful, slow down, um, be cautious. If you've never changed a battery before, take off a ring, uh, put some gloves on even, that would be good. Um, I don't do that in this video but that's okay. I mean, I've changed out tons and tons of batteries. I took my time, do it right, make sure your positive cables and negative cables aren't touching anything, um, and just have a game plan before you go in and do it. That's why videos like this are gonna be great. Um, so anyway, hopefully you guys like this video and you can give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible and not overly boring or anything like that. So, and I'll leave a link to the battery down below. I'm not gonna make any money off if you buy this battery. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I did my own research and ended up buying this battery. Um, they didn't reach out to me, nothing like that. So I'm not gonna make anything off you buying this battery. I'm, I'm just doing this video as a, a helpful video for people. Um, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go inside the vehicle and power down your system. Before you do this, make sure that the passenger door is open, driver door is open, because you're gonna need to go there next. Okay, so now we are on the rear passenger seat. Um, there is a little tab that you have to push away from you in order to release the seat. Um, I was a little freaked out on this just because I didn't want to be yanking on my seats too much So just pull that little tab there push it away from you I mean, and then your seat will come up and uh, you, you're gonna have to hold that up I was filming here. So it was a little harder this way um, Then you see this foam block here You're gonna take that off remove it put it to the side because you got to make sure you put that back at the end um, And here is the high voltage wiring connector um, So pull that little gray tab you're gonna push it downwards which you see here in the video um, and then you're just going to be able to wiggle that plug off and pull it right out and essentially just set that to the side and make sure uh, it's not connect connecting anything and you'll reinstall now, the that removal of the 12 volt battery it's actually fairly easy on these uh, Teslas so just watch and then you guys will be able to figure it out this comes off really really easy I've already taken it off a couple times so get in there and slowly work it up. You don't want to be yanking anything super hard. There you go. It exposes the battery. Um, so you got your 10 millimeter for negative. You got your 10 millimeters going to be for positive. You're going to want to take off the negative first. That's very, very important because you don't want any arcing. shut down the rest of the way cool all right so this little bracket here I guess there's two designs apparently so mine I guess is the easier design is what it looks like to me so I watched a different video but it was super long I'm gonna try to make this video under five minutes because you know that way it makes it just a lot easier for you guys nice straightforward to the point if that's the way you like your videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video real quick. Here we 
go, and just like that, you can grab a hold. We do have a, a, a vent. We don't want that popping back over there, do we? It's all plastic over there, so we are safe there. It's got a little vent down here at the bottom that you do need to make sure it gets unplugged. There we go. The new one will not require a vent because it's lithium ion. Ooh, that thing's heavy. Okay, so just for fun, I wanna show you guys the weight difference in these batteries. So we have a special guest, this is my daughter. Uh, so she's gonna go over there and pick up the batteries and tell us what she thinks about them. So go ahead. Pick up the one with the yellow handle first. Come on. Pick up this one first. You're strong, so you should be able to pick it up. You can't pick it up? Mm -hmm. I pick up that other one. That's a battery too. Is that like light as a feather? You pick that up like it was nothing. How heavy does it feel? Oh my goodness. You can lift weights with that thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now with the install, it comes with these little pieces to uh, adapt to the right size. So I'm just gonna have the negative one on. I'm gonna keep the cap on the positive until everything is good to go. And we're just gonna go at it. it should be just a nice quick reverse of what we did. All right, now that we're nice and tight there, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our positive cable. And this just goes to where it lands in there flush. Just push it on there with your fingers. That one's nice and tight. We are done. Just reinstall this. Line it up. There we go. So we are done under the hood. And now all you gotta do is go back in there and reinstall uh, the high voltage connector. It's really simple. You just push it back down and reinstall your seat, push it back down, and you're good to go. Hey, if you're still with me, thanks for watching the video. I know I went over the five minutes like I thought I was gonna try to do. I think it's gonna land anywhere from eight to eight and a half minutes, something like that of actual ending video. Hey, thanks for watching though, like I said. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.